folks, YouTube and all that. Uh, today's day seven. We are now going to be working on removing track lights. Oop, can't quite point. And then I'm still going to continue filling in all the pantry stuff, get that done quickly. And then today the plan is to start emptying out the bookcases and clear out yeah. all of the living room area. Hmm. Just stuck in there. That's it. It's just held on there by willpower. Hmm. So I guess we'll try and make use of the existing holes. Yeah. For when we do the new lighting. Yeah. In there? How far does it go in? Into the bathroom. So that track is going into our bathroom. I guess you can't just cut the track. I'm gonna have to. This is a problem because <laughs> there's no longer access to it. Can we just, I guess, just trim it from here and leave that part on the ceiling? Yeah. Don't to. really have a choice. Yes. We're going to have to trim it about here and then just leave that piece on the ceiling since it's going into a part of the wall that we no longer have access to ever since we did our bathroom renovation about four years ago. That's done. <laughs> and we're done. So just that piece is left on the ceiling. Look at how much space we have in the pantry. Everything is so properly organized. Our bitters right here, some confectionery goods are up here, tuna, salmon cans, hot sauce, um, some chocolate stuff here, peanut butter, all that sort of stuff. And it's just, look at how much space. And we're giving away some of these things to people we know. And then we have some unopened jars of jams and stuff that we've never used. So that's gonna go to the grocery store so that it goes to the food bank, but not much culling, just proper organization and now we can access things without any difficulty. All right, you know what we're... That did nothing. <laughs> Are you, were you hoping that the impact would break it? I was hoping it might do something. I guess.
dragster to the rescue. <laughs> and the bagster. We managed to get the whole concrete one piece counter together into the bagster. Okay, so I'll go back to the pantry. This doesn't look like it's good. This is fine. Yeah, I think record any of that. What? I was just doing a talking piece about dinner that I'm planning on making and I forgot to hit record. It'd be just nice if I hit record. I've done that a few times. <laughs> so today was a long day. All the bookshelves have been empty. Tomorrow's going to be a very long day of moving all the furniture and the shelf and the bookcases in preparation for Wednesdays floor install but in the meantime you have to move the walls 10 feet in either direction <laughs> to make the space bigger please don't scare them because i'd be scared very scared there is a channel on youtube i follow called about to eat and there's a guy on there named andrew i'm sorry i don't know if you're a chef or a cook but what you make is delicious and he did these two episodes one with zucchini and one with tomato and i was so inspired by them that i've decided to try them out the tomato one is in is an omelet tomato. Uh, no, sorry, it's a scrambled egg tomato Chinese dish, and the zucchini is a boiled zucchini salad with some tuna. I might use canned salmon. They just sounded so good, and it sounds like a perfect meal for tonight. With uh, I have a baguette over there, and I have everything prepped. Got my bowl chopped with. Anything that's left over in the fridge along with the tomatoes. Got my mise en place stuff and zucchini and, and ready to go. And I'm gonna barbecue short ribs. Hold on, let me focus. Mmm, short ribs. Short ribs. And some oyster mushrooms. Yes, which I pulled out for you. Oh, thank you. So I hope everyone has a good evening and enjoys their dinner as well, wherever you may be, or breakfast or lunch. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. For the big move of the furniture. We'll, we'll have our breakfast of champions to give us a lot of energy to do this. All right, till tomorrow. Morning, everybody. Welcome to day eight of our renovation, which is a Monday. Yesterday, we spent all our time emptying out all of these bookcases and the china cabinet. There's still some stuff in the drawer, but we'll leave it in there. And today is the fun day. Today's gonna be a very heavy day because we need to actually move all of this furniture, carpet, table, everything to that side. Well, today's work starts with Nadia processing tomatoes. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with our kitchen renovation but everybody seems to have an excess of tomatoes in their gardens, which they've passed on to us. So Nadia's gonna cook them down to a sauce and maybe return some to the originators. Yes, because <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of sauce. How much tomato sauce can two human beings eat? Yeah. Meanwhile, over here, I'm getting started. <laughs> Clearing out this area. All of this stuff, all the baking supplies and stuff that we have stored underneath the stairs. Just, we got to clear all the floors. So all of this is going to happen. I'm going to pack up stuff and we're going to move it. So here we go. Garlic sauteing. You can't smell it, but this is delicious. <laughs> Yummo. Fresh rosemary and thyme. The sisters of flavor. Mm -hmm. That all stew for now. And 
And this is our homemade garlic confit. Yum. Or confit garlic. What do you call it? Either way, I think. It's good. It's just goodness. <laughs> so Rob is just grabbing our, what we call the props department. We have the props that we use for our shoots on a rolling cart. We're gonna wrap it up with some ram wrap or plastic wrapping just to protect it while we move everything off to the studio side of things. But the first few problems, we're going to put the wine somewhere. <laughs> Do you want to do the wine upstairs? I don't think it is. Most of the area covered. We should eat. Moved it quite a bit. We weren't able to record how we got the carpet up the stairs, but we did it. I think now we're just gonna take a break, eat, and then next thing are these guys. Oof. Yeah, okay. See you in two. For those wondering how the tomato sauce is looking, nice and velvety, really yummy. Wow, that turned out really good. But this is going to be for dinner, or some of it, not all of it. Space we have now. We're just gonna sit down, have our lunch, watch the chair on Netflix, and then continue later. Okay, we're getting ready to start moving the china cabinet. Sorry, I keep looking at the monitor over there when I should be looking over here. This is a dolly. It's a little plant thing. I'm just getting a call from our flooring people that are coming in to install flooring in a few days. And that's their song when you're put on hold.
You know, I was so curious how to move these bookcases and last night Rob and I thought of trying to use the construction blankets to glide them across the floor. It works well when you have concrete flooring, which we are do. You, are you referring to our specialty sound blankets? Yeah, the, <laughs> we, we actually purchased the moving blankets uh, to be used as sound blankets when we're recording audio, especially with clients. And Rob found them from a place where they're actually would you say affordable or just cheap? They're 10 bucks each. For $10 for each, as opposed to $26, which is where he was finding at regular hardware stores. So Rob scored well. we did all lined up room has been cleared all we're doing is moving Hermione into place you named it Hermione <laughs> <laughs> when did that happen <laughs> okay what an accomplishment so this is what the space looks like with nothing in it. Should we take the camera up? No. On the second level? No. I'll do a quick one. No. Just a quick one. All of this empty space. Everything is over there now. The new flooring will end about where Rob is standing. The flooring will go right across here. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then the rest of the kitchen will finish once the new island is put in. Then we'll do then we'll do the concrete butter on the existing concrete counters and the refacing and the lighting and whatever else comes to our mind. Wow, Rob. That's all our crap right over there. I think we deserve a nice long break now. Good morning. So the plan for today, now that we have the whole living room pretty much cleared out, um, what I want to do today is just paint the ceiling of the kitchen. We've taken down the old track lighting. We're gonna be putting new lighting in there using Chinese lanterns in a big cluster, which is gonna look really cool and give us nice soft lighting in the kitchen. But while the lights are down, it's a great opportunity to paint the, uh, the ceiling of the kitchen. So that's what's on for today. Uh, so I'm just gonna get started clearing things out of there and then draping the cupboards with um, plastic so I don't splatter on them. And then away we go. Here we go. draped off, done a little patching on the roof, on the ceiling, and time to pour paint and get it on the ceiling. Shaky, shaky. You know, one of the strangest and most material, mysterious objects on the face of the earth is the little key that you use to open paint can. They're always in your way every time you go into a tool drawer, as soon as you grab a can of paint, they all vaporize somehow. So, back to the old screwdriver. Here's a trick I learned from friends of mine at a painting company. When you first open a can of paint, right, take an awl, a, point, a little pointy awl, or a sharp screwdriver or something, and poke little holes all the way around the rim. 
That way, as you're painting and pouring paint, the paint doesn't collect in the rim, it drips through the little holes, and then it doesn't re it doesn't seal the lid. And also when you close when you go to close the lid, it doesn't squirt out onto the walls so you just try to paint. So that's a tip. That's an old handy device. It's all done. Everything's closed up, ready to go. And uh, it'll probably take a second coat, so. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Today's the exciting day. We're getting our floors done. This is now Wednesday, day 10. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, we're getting all the flooring done. Excited? Yes. Yeah, we've been working long and hard to make this happen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll just wait for all the guys to arrive. So the crew has arrived. They are just starting to do the flooring work now. And it's around 10 a.m. and I'm very excited to see how this is gonna look. almost 4 20 p.m. flooring is done these guys are quick but let's show you how it looks it's floor it's floor it's floor we put gray concrete over our gray concrete we did put gray <laughs> concrete over our get gray concrete looks much nicer I think Dutch angle works best for us. Grabs <laughs> both of our heights. <sighs> it looks, it looks great. It really feels great. Can you see my foot anywhere? Really. <laughs> my foot, Rob's feet, my foot. Feels great. It's great, just a subtle amount of texture. I guess we can actually walk around barefoot now. Woohoo! Yeah, we couldn't really on the concrete flooring because it's just. It's, pretty, it's also, it's a little softer on the feet. Yeah. Much nicer and warmer. Much warmer. Okay, so. Job done. Job done. So the transition is from here. That's our original flooring that we're keeping to do shooting and not have to worry about scratching up our new floors. Focus, camera, focus. There we go. And the kitchen, they did a great job. Once we reface and re-laminate the cabinetry, Rob is just gonna silicone it. Silicone the edges and just close all the gaps. Looks great. <laughs> this is all that's left over. Oh, so Rob, you measured correctly. I measured right. So what do we throw in the bagster now? <laughs> Actually, we should probably keep one tile for color reference for when we repaint that yeah. flooring in the far, far future. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm really pleased. It looks and really so pretty. Let's see. So this is the top of the tile, which is a coated vinyl layer, which has te which is textured. And then it's a click lock system 
and then the underlayment is already attached to the tiles, which is a textured underlayment. So you have some sound deading, insulation, and cushioning on your foot, all in one package. Yeah. I love it. Waterproof? Totally 100% waterproof. You can use it in your bathroom, in your kitchen. We don't have to worry about dripping things on the floor. No. It's really cool. Yeah. Happy. That's happy. happy. That was uh, day 10. So <laughs> tomorrow we get back into putting all the bookshelves back. Not the furniture yet, just the bookshelves. So oh, that's okay. We have elves to do that tonight. We do. <laughs> I hired the elves. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they're Keebler elves, so they leave chocolate chip cookies. I want more of those elves. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye for now.